Hey there, roommates. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Roommate Randomness. Today, I wanted to talk to you about Mega Man 11. Now, I've been a fan of Mega Man for basically my entire life. I'm pretty sure the first time I played Mega Man 8, I was around 5 or 6. So the series has been a fond part of my life for as long as I can remember. So you can imagine my excitement when it was announced that a new, graphically overhauled, full console, non-DLC version of a Mega Man game was coming out. Mega Man hadn't received a full video game release since 1996. All due respect to Mega Man 9 and 10, but they were clearly not on the same level as a full game release. But did being a full release help Mega Man 11 stand out and give Mega Man the resounding return to video games that people had been waiting for? In a word, no. But that doesn't mean Mega Man 11 was a bad game, just a touch underwhelming. But we'll get to that. First, let's look at the positives, and we'll go from there. First and foremost, the graphics. This game is beautiful. Everything is beautifully designed, shaded, and animated. There honestly isn't much else to say in that regard. If you play this game, it'll be a fantastic eyegasm for you. That's an orgasm for your eyes. Second, the gameplay. In terms of being a Mega Man game, this is really basic, but done well. There isn't really much to talk about because of how simple a concept Mega Man is. You run, jump, slide, and shoot. That's the game. And in this game, you can do it very well. Jumps that seem precise are very easy to do because you have such accurate control of Mega Man. Unless you're playing Bounce Man's stage. Nobody has control in Bounce Man's stage. Nobody. Lastly, we have the difficulty. Mega Man is a series known for its difficulty, and honestly, this game has the best implementation of difficulty I've seen in a long time, because it's optional. The game is very hard. It is difficult to get from point A to point B without taking any damage, and I would go as far as to say impossible if you were playing the game blind. This is consistent through the entire game. If you're looking for a nice, difficult platformer, Mega Man 11 is a great choice. If you're wanting a more laid back and casual experience, however, the game has the shop. The shop is quite honestly broken. The things you can get from it make the entire game kind of a joke, which I think is phenomenal. Any game that is able to challenge people in a Dark Souls-esque pure skill fashion while simultaneously providing a casual and laid-back experience for those who want it is a game that is worth playing. But Mega Man 11 isn't all high praise. It definitely has its fair share of problems. So let's take a moment now to talk about the negatives. Now, Mega Man 11 is far from a perfect game. I spoke highly of the graphics earlier in this video, but that's kind of a double-edged sword. While Mega Man 11 looks beautiful, most of that is a fresh coat of paint on an otherwise very empty game design. Which isn't immediately obvious upon playing the game, but due to the difficulty of the game, you'll find yourself running through these levels dozens of times. It eventually becomes apparent that there isn't really much that separates the levels from each other, with the standout levels only really having one difference. Be it Acid Man having a water stage, or Bounce Man having bouncy balls everywhere, or Blast Man having explosive barrels. This also makes the Robot Master weapons largely useless, as the barren level design doesn't provide any opportunities for puzzle solving or secrets of any kind. It is all a very straightforward run from point A to point B setup. This is honestly the biggest disappointment in the game, as half the fun of Mega Man games in the past, for me anyway, is clearing the stages, getting the Robot Master weapons, and then replaying the stages looking for secrets that have now been unlocked with the new options available to me. That doesn't exist in this game, and if that's what you're looking for in your Mega Man games, this isn't the game for you. Secondly, the Double Gear System. The Double Gear System is a mechanic exclusive to Mega Man 11, implemented for the sole purpose of providing something new to make the game stand out. The problem is the double gear system is completely unnecessary for beating the game. But what exactly is the double gear system? Well, 
It's a system that is split into two categories, the speed gear and the power gear, that can maximize your abilities in one of two ways. The speed gear can be used to speed yourself up so fast that everything around you appears to be moving slowly. The power gear powers up your weapons, doubling your fire output and increasing the power of your Robot Master weapons. This sounds really cool, until you realize that the double gear system was not implemented into the game design at all. There are no puzzles that require either of the gear systems. Not only that, but the only one that actively makes the game easier is the speed gear. Through my entire time playing, I never felt the need to use the power gear until the second last stage of the game. It really takes away from the game as this double gear system is meant to be the basis for the entire thing, being the main plot point that gets the ball rolling. But instead, it's just a tacked on feature on a vanilla game design that doesn't take advantage of any of the possibilities that are open to it. With all that said, let's take a look at the final grade. Mega Man 11 could have been a really good game. The graphics are beautiful, the gameplay is fun, and the difficulty is true to the legacy of Mega Man. But the game's lack of creativity in its level design and mechanic usage makes it fail to stand out both as a Mega Man game and a platformer. So I'm gonna have to give it a 6 out of 10. If you're a Mega Man fan, it's worth picking up. You'll get a nice nostalgia rush and it'll kill some time for a couple days. Otherwise, there are better games out there for you to buy to get your platformer fix. I don't have a flashy tagline for this show yet, so I'm, I'm just gonna awkwardly paint black now.